Okay, um, having established the SSL session, uh, as previously described, um, we now have the ability to do our login functions. And, uh, of course, we have the identification and authentication. And behind that, I mean, at some other level, um, we uh, can have the system uh, dealing with our authorization, our uh, accountability. Um, so, you know, record keeping in, in that regard and, and permissions in terms of what this particular login is allowed to do. So, uh, all that, you know, good IAAA stuff. Um, now, uh, I have said we've got a session key, we've got uh, encryption, we've got the uh, uh, authentication of the server. Um, we, uh, we can do, I mean, you know, it's, it's not uh, absolutely hard and fast that we, we can't do um, bi-directional uh, authentication from, you know, node to node. Um, but uh, that's not how we generally use uh, SSL in, in terms of its widest implementation. But, uh, you know, so having established that, we, you know, can do our protected encrypted login. But do we have full end-to-end -end encryption? Maybe, maybe not. We have the ability, we have uh, the potential to do that, but it isn't automatically guaranteed. It is not, strictly speaking, an absolute for uh, any any transaction that starts with SSL. Um, you know, anytime you see the uh, HTTPS, uh, you know, you've got um, that uh, connection, but just, you know, it, the fact that it's an HTTPS, as, as I talked about in encryption, um, you know, doesn't guarantee safety. Um, you know, this could be a self-signed certificate. If you get a warning about that, um, then uh, you you need to know, uh, you know, who it is that you're talking to. Um, this is uh, <laughs> if you're dealing with the military, uh, which. Uh, sorry, the American military. This is highly ironic to me. It's funny because I am a Canadian and they went and let me on to military bases, you know, even though I'm teaching them about security because letting them on to a military base is contrary to their security policy. Um, yeah, irony of ironies here. But anyway, um, the... Uh, you know, they self-sign, the military uh, self-signs their own uh, certificates. You know, they issue their certificates. They do not depend on any of the certification authorities. So when you go to a military site, even if you are looking up publicly available information, you will get this warning that, you know, this is not a recognized certificate. And... Uh, you know, so again, you know, it's it's something that you you have to decide. You have to know uh, what is going on in uh, that situation. But it, additionally, um, in terms of SSL, that's just establishing the session and generating these keys, which can be used but are not required necessarily by the continuation of the session and. Uh, in some cases, they will just, you know, encrypt the session and protect it all. That's, you know, but it isn't required. And so they may simply encrypt parts of the session, like the exchange of the password, for example. And uh, when you're dealing with a purchase, the exchange of your credit card information, possibly. But again, that depends on how the uh, programming of the server 
website is done and and you know what they have decided to do in in terms of the encryption if they feel that um, their uh, uh, you know their session with you um, doesn't need encryption and encryption is a processing overhead that they do not want to pay for then yeah uh, they don't need to do that so just having established the SSL connection having done the SSL handshake does not guarantee that you do in fact have end-to-end encryption of all the traffic that you're dealing with there so um, that is something to bear in mind um, I, once again it's, it's yet another example of you know we, we have the tools but are people actually using them and the same thing going right back to the beginning in terms of risk management and risk analysis you know is this session important enough to secure what are you paying for the processing overhead what uh, resources do you need to have available to support the encryption confidentiality security privacy of this session um, and and once again you know uh, you as a, a developer, you as a system owner, need to make that decision. And that decision is not always communicated to the, the users of the system. Um, I mean, when we're dealing with retail, most of the users of any given system aren't going to even understand the implications. Um, so, you know, it, it would be uh, possibly a wasted effort to try and explain the situation. Um, unfortunate, but true. So we, you know, the, the tools are there, the functions are there, the possibilities are there, but we need to make the decisions and make informed decisions about how... Uh, actually secure we do want to have these these systems and uh, you know, it's yeah just just leaving things alone and not thinking about it is is not the best way to go about it